just like that. <laughs> Why are you here? Welcome back, Project Dads. I'm Justin, and today I'm going to do a real quick project that hopefully you will do for someone that you love or for yourself. But my wife loves to decorate for Christmas. She used to say, well, I decorate the day after Thanksgiving. And then she started saying, oh, I decorate the day after my birthday. And this year she decorated the day before her birthday. She, as you can see, she's already decorated plenty. And, um, but I, I'm not a big fan of decorating for Christmas myself, but I don't mind making some decorations that she can use year after year. So I'm going to show you some, an idea that she found online. So it's not an original idea, but it's such a simple thing to do. And hopefully you will try this too. You need some, um, some scrap bicycles or bicycle parts and a few nuts and bolts and paint. And this will be super easy, super simple. So let's get it started. All right, guys, I just went to my um, scrap pile in the back. All right, I found three um, three rims that I think will work good. This is a 20-inch. Of they're all kids' bikes, 20-inch. This one is a this one is a 16-inch. This is actually off of a, like a jogging stroller. And this is what they call a 12-inch wheel. It's actually like a 10 and a half. But anyway, we're going to stack these together and make a little bike wheel snowman so the first thing I have to do is I have to get the you don't have to but I'm gonna take the axles and bearings out of the middle this one's got a quick release take that out I'm gonna take all those off and obviously take the tires off because this will just be the rims spokes and hubs so let's take these apart as you just saw I took out um, I took out the bearings the uh, the rubber rim strips I took out the axles on well, this one had um, actually had sealed bearings put those out um, rim strips this one didn't have a rim strip but I did take out the bearing cups on this one all right originally my plan had been just to weld wheels together and and make the make the snowman but I thought this would be a better how-to if I just showed people how to bolt them together very simply. So let's start by not working too hard. Find the hole that the tube goes through, or the valve goes through. And I found some bolts that fit. These are 5 sixteenths by whatever, whatever length. And I, you line up those two holes, the one on the top rim and the bottom rim. And you're just going to use use a bolt and nut to bolt these together. The problem I'm having is that these rims are nearly the same width. So to remedy that, I'm going to take a large, a large adjustable wrench, grab the edge of the rim and slightly bend it out. I don't want to bend it out too much, but that way the other rim will fit down into it. Then when you put this bolt through, I don't think I'm lined up, put this bolt through, then I can just put a washer, a lock washer and a nut, and tighten that down. And so then I have those two holes already made. Now that leaves me with needing a hole at the top. And I'm also going to put a hole on the bottom and insult, insert a piece of all thread to go down to the ground so that you can stick this in the ground because this is going to be out outdoors. So let me get these bolted together then I'll show you how I'm going to drill the top. Alright so I have bolted the bottom two rims or wheels together. You can see I got the a lock washer and a bolt right there. So now to do the top one I'm going to have to drill a hole. Now I can still use the, the valve stem hole on this rim 
but up here I'm gonna have to drill a hole. But to drill this hole, I'm going to, I'm just gonna eyeball it, but I'm using a center punch, and this is to keep your drill bit from slipping around. So I just line that up where I think it should go, and then push it down. And it will leave a, I don't know if you can see, the sun's really bright, it'll leave a tiny divot. And then I'm gonna use this step bit and line that up and drill until the hole is just big enough for that bolt to go through. The hole is drilled in this top of this rim and just using the valve stem I've got the bolt sticking through. So I just line those up, drop it through. Now this rim has a little bit of a flare to it so it fit over that one pretty well. Just up. Put the bolt through. And then put the lock washer on. Thread the nut on there. And just crank it down real tight. So we've got the basic shape of the snowman. Now for the bottom, like I said, I've got a piece of all thread. I went ahead and got all thread. It was also 5 16 so I can use the same washers and things like that. So I've gone ahead and I'm um, center punching. I line up my drill bit and make the hole. And that should be yep, the right size. Now what I'm going to do is take this piece of all thread, I'm, I'm not going to cut it yet, and I'll put it through the hole with a with the nut already threaded onto it, put a washer, split washer, or lock washer, and then thread on the nut, and tighten that down, and I can adjust adjust the one on this side so I don't have too much thread sticking up through when I'm done. And this will be the stick that I use to stick it into the ground as an anchor. Now you can cut the all thread with a hacksaw, a dremel, a cutoff wheel, anything. I, I figure almost a foot long would be enough anchor. I'm just going to take bolt cutters. And there we go. Now I just have to clean up clean up the rims, get the grease out of the out of the hubs, and we're gonna paint this. We're gonna paint it white. Alright, as an afterthought, I was I was kind of concerned about the snowman having a hat, but what he really needs is some arms. And so I used about like I said, a foot of this all thread on the bottom to be an anchor, but I still have about two foot left. So I'm going to cut this in the middle, and I've got enough nuts and bolts, and I'm going to give them little arms hanging off the sides. And if my wife wants to decorate, put some little felt, felt mittens on the ends of them or whatever, it'll be cute. But Okay, he is all bolted together, getting ready for paint. As you see, I gave him a little snowman, some arms, and I went ahead and I thought, well, he needs a little nose while he's at it. So now... I'm going to spray paint it. I'm using some, let's see, Rust-Oleum. It's primer plus paint, but it's flat white. And I'm going to go ahead and spray paint that right now. And it is painted. I sprayed a little orange on the nose. You can see I speckled it with the brown. And if you're wondering from the time lapse, what I was doing was I took the spray paint and I just grabbed something It happened to be one of the reflectors off the wheel and I would spray it, spray the paint directly on the reflector and then fling it off and it gave these little splotchy, dalmatian-y spots all over it. So now we wait for it to dry, add a little scarf, I feel like it needs some eyes but uh, I might just be doing too much, I think I just need to leave it alone. Well, as you can see, it's finished up. Got a little scarf on it. Now, you could add some 
little mittens on his arms and put a hat on his head. But it'd be, it'd be easy to get carried away. Just the simplicity. It's bike wheels. It's a snowman. Well, there it is. Snowman made out of bicycle wheels. I hope you've enjoyed this project. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And maybe you have ideas of how you can make this thing better. Maybe it needs some kind of hat. Maybe, you know, something else um, that you think would really make this thing work. We're going to put this in the yard, in the front yard. And I would be out there right now, but there's people working around the neighborhood. Very, very loud. Hopefully you've liked this video. Hopefully... Somebody will use this to make their own, and if you do, I'd love to hear about it. But until next time, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. I'll keep trying to bring you some good content, and um, I'll see you in the next video. I found three bicycle rims. I'm going to get stuck. In. Okay. I shouldn't wear heavy metal rings when you're working this stuff. Ha!